the Tower of Babel, the subject of one of the strangest stories in the Bible. But could it be based on truth? I thought as a kid this was folklore or legend. And that a lot of people still think of it in biblical terms as some kind of legend. But they don't really know that it actually existed. I'm really at the place where the tower stood. The fragile remains of the legendary city of Babylon in modern-day Iraq have revealed many secrets. The greatest of all was the discovery of a vast structure that ancient records suggest was the Tower of Babel. Ancient texts have allowed experts to imagine what the building might have looked like. But now, astounding new evidence has emerged. Inscribed on the surface of a privately owned tablet is an image that sensationally reveals exactly what the Tower of Babel looked like. This is a very strong piece of evidence that the Tower of Babel story in the Bible was inspired by this real building. This remarkable tablet, which has never been filmed before, dates to the 6th century BC. It was discovered in Babylon over a century ago. Unbelievably, no one realized how important it was until Professor Andrew George, an expert in ancient texts, brought its faint carvings back to life. At the top here, this part, there is a relief uh, depicting a step tower. And here, a great a figure of a, a human being carrying a staff with a conical hat on. Below that relief is text which has been chiseled into the monument and uh, the label is easily read. It, it reads Ata Menenki, Zikurat Babel, and that means the Zikurat or Temple Tower of the city of Babylon. This tablet provides the first ever image of the real Tower of Babel. It confirms the building was a Mesopotamian stepped tower and illustrates the seven tiers of the ancient megastructure. Significantly, it also clearly identifies the man behind it, Mesopotamia's most famous ruler, King Nebuchadnezzar II. The building and its builder are on the same, uh, on the same relief. But while the images are extraordinary, the tablet's ancient text also reveals a detailed account of the tower's construction. And more importantly, how Nebuchadnezzar went about building it. It reads from the upper sea, which is the Mediterranean, to the lower sea, and that's the Persian Gulf. The far-flung lands and teeming people of the habitations are mobilized in order to construct this building of the Ziggurat of Babylon. Incredibly, this ancient account is identical to the biblical story of how the Tower of Babel was constructed. For scholars, the tablet offers further proof that the Tower of Babel wasn't just a work of fiction. It was an actual building from antiquity.